In this example, we'll be introducing and talking about some percentage problems. And uh, we will begin by having a look at changing 80% to a fraction. So in order to change 80% to a fraction, what first step would you take? Well, I would make 80 out of 100. Okay, that makes sense. Per cent, per century, per 100. So 80 out of 100. Now, your math teacher won't be fully happy with that. You would definitely get a method point, but he's going to want to see it reduced. Right. So what goes into 80 and 100? Well, I'm going to take one step at a time, and maybe I can divide both numbers by 10. Okay. So I can say that it's 8 over 10. Good, and then we can see that 2 goes into 8 and 10, so we end up with 4 fifths. Nice, easy one to warm up on. Mm -hmm. Next, we will change a decimal, 0 0.2, 2 tenths, to a percent. 0 0.2. And to move from a decimal to a percentage, some people simply um, multiply by 100 and have the percent symbol. And then you end up with 20. Any other methods you'd add to that? Um, you could change this to a fraction, maybe mm -hmm. 2 over 10. Mm -hmm. And because you want percent, you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So that's a good strategy. So you get over 100, and then you know that's 20%. Perfect. Good. Percent per 100. So what about going the other way if we're starting with 8% and we need to write it as a decimal? Well, since this is 8%, I can write it as 8 over 100. Mm-hmm. And that's equivalent to 0 0.08. 8 hundredths. Good. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to use a strategy for percentages that you guys have learned in grade 8, or some of you. And uh, we we'll always build from what we know, work backwards to 1%, and out to what we want. So in number 4, we're asked to calculate 45% of 2,000. So we know 100% is to 2,000, right? And we, our goal is to find the 45. So let's work back to 1%. So if 100% is 2,000, then 1% is 20. And now, if 1% is 20, our actual goal is to calculate 45%. So 45 times 20 is 900. And then circling our final answer. So Reading carefully, setting up our initial percent, work back to 100, sorry, back to 1, and then out to what we know. There are other methods, we'll mark them all right, but students were most successful from what I observed last year, having done it this way. Let's have a look at a couple more. A car costing $400 is reduced in price by 10%. Find the new price. So what do we know? We know that 100% was 400. Mm -hmm. So again, back to 1%. 1%, you have to divide by 100, so I'm going to do the same here. $4. Mm -hmm. And our goal? It's reduced by 10%, so it should be 90%. Okay. So to get from 1% to 90%, we multiply by 90. So 4 times 90 is 360 dollars is the new price of the car after the reduction. Okay, again, different methods, but this is really nice and clean. And the advantage, I think, is that it works the same backwards and forwards. So let's have a look. After a price increase of 10%, a television set costs 286. It's a little bit different here. We're not given 100%. This time, it's after a price increase, so therefore, we actually know 110% is $286. All right, so the setup's always the same. Now we go back down to 1%. You can see why we use the calculator in this one. Well, I would need it. Can you do that in your head? Um, 26. Nice. All right. So if you can't get that 26, 286 divided by 110. We have faith in Mr. Song, though. We're pretty sure he's got it. That gives us... Oh, no, 2. it's 2.6. Seemed a little large there, but... Yeah. So therefore, now, what was the price before the increase? So the price before the increase was the, the 100%. And that answer should be easy enough without the calculator. 
times 100 to get $260. All right, so again, read the question, set up what you know, work back to 1%, or find what 1% is, and then out to what you're after. One more? Yes, number seven. The average attendance at a Parma FC fell by 7% in 2009 if 2030 fewer people went to the matches in 2009, how many went in 2008? Okay, so the key bits there are 7%, right, fell by 7% and 2030 fewer. Those are the things that we are given, so we know 7% is 2030. All right, and then again, always work to what 1%? Dividing by 7. And then what we want is how many in 2008 before the attendance dropped. So we want to go out to 100%. And therefore 29,000. No idea about Parma Football Club, you? No. All right. So that uh, is how to solve all percent problems, and uh, see you in class tomorrow. Yeah.